considered it as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Well, joining us today is Clarissa Schoen Mimokoka, the CEO of Oxford Cannabinoid Technologies. Thank you very much for joining us today. Clarissa, how are things? Yeah, very good. Thanks, Mark. Nice to be here. Indeed. Last week before Christmas, before everyone sort of sets uh, in for the holidays, I wonder if we can get a bit of a review of the year from your point of view. I mean, of course, some big uh, achievements throughout the year, of course, with the, you know, your, your role as well as CEO. So, I mean, if you were to sum up the year from the CEO's perspective, what would be some of the highlights for you? Uh, yeah, very, very happy to. So um, you've touched on one for me personally, at least. So I've been in the role now for just over a year, um, which I have to say has been a real privilege and, and a pleasure to to lead the the fantastic team that we've got at OCT and obviously to mm -hmm. connect with a lot of our shareholders and stakeholders over the course of the year. So I personally feel very, very lucky. But in terms of um, highlights, uh, look, it's been a year of, of really tremendous achievement operationally. Um, we obviously submitted our first ever uh, MHRA application for a, for a phase one trial. We got that approval, the green light to go ahead uh, in the middle of the year there back in May. Uh, we got that underway and, and successfully completed by October. So, um, you know, delighted to have our, our first phase one single ascending dose positive results, um, moving us from, I guess, a preclinical company firmly into the clinic, which is a cool. big milestone uh, for a biotech uh, like us. Um, that successful completion, obviously, assisted by the appointment of our first chief medical officer. Again, a new role we created as uh, as we've moved from sort of preclinical into the clinic. Uh, Tim Corn, Dr. Tim Corn, joining us in July in that role, and also we recently announced his his appointment to uh, the board of directors as well. Um, Tim, as you know, I think you know you've had a good catch up with him recently on on mm -hmm. his background, his role, but you know very serious and, and significant pharma reputation and uh, approvals, you know, numbering almost 20, I think, across uh, FDA and MHRA over the course of his career. So a very uh, exciting addition to our already um, brilliant team. So that was brilliant to get to get him on board. But we also appointed um, Dr. Paul Farquhar-Smith as, as mm. an independent expert earlier in the summer. Uh, you'll remember that he runs this of only CIPN clinic in, in the UK at the Royal Marsden Hospital and is very much um, understood as sort of the expert on CIPN, which is, of course, the indication that we're looking at uh, with our lead compound that's, as I said, just completed that phase one um, single ascending dose. Uh, in terms of other highlights, uh, I guess it would be continuing progress on our other programs, in particular, uh, getting that new uh, news about expanding into oncology uh, back in July again, where, you know, with program four, uh, mm -hmm. with the help of Dalriada Drug Discovery, who were doing the screening for us, we um, uh, sort of uncovered what we hope to be a potential first in class immunotherapy agent for the treatment of solid tumours. So really exciting to be expanding into the sort of cancer space, as well as retaining our, retaining our focus, our core focus on pain, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, I think honestly, it's just, it's been a, a really productive year. It's been um, a roller coaster in terms of the markets. I think we've all <laughs> we're all uh, aware of that. But in terms of operational progress, the team really has had their head down and have been delivering uh, on you know the the milestones that we've been talking about over the course of the year. Good. So the next question I obviously have for you is 2024 is upon us. What are the milestones? Have you thought about them or is it something you'll be perhaps contemplating over the Christmas period? What are the things you'd want to achieve from the company next year? Uh, you know, Mark, you're, you're quite right. They're, I mean, more of the same, honestly. So we've okay. got a really strong focus on operational delivery here at OCT. You know, I think uh, the team is excited to, to get our, our programmes into the next phase of their development. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking strategically at the, the best ways of doing that. And um, I am quite excited, actually, about uh, the way that 2024 is going to unfold. I think uh, we've got some some interesting and, and some potential exciting sort of developments that, that we'll be able to talk about more uh, as the year unfolds. I can't say too, too much today, as you'd expect. But, um, but no, I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to another year of ex exciting progress at OCT. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Clissa, for joining us today and, of course, uh, the whole year. 
and look forward to continuing the story into next year. Happy holidays to you. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Same to you. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stopboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.